parents listening will probably have heard of the word botulism. We don't give honey to babies under the age of one because the spores could infect them with botulism. Guess what Botox is? Now this bacteria, Colostridium botulinum, also grows where meat isn't stored correctly. So we eat it and then we contract botulism, which then attacks the body's nervous system. Now Botox is basically just the brand name for basically this toxic poison. So the poison in Botox that normally attacks the nervous system has been redirected to block nerve signals in the face that make muscles contract. Hopefully I've got your attention at this point. Botox is so toxic that the plant in Ireland where it's manufactured has its air filtered 200 times per hour. Now that alone should be enough to make you never want to get Botox, but if you are still considering it, please listen to these points. So it will infiltrate your nervous system. You cannot inject something into your body that is used to attack nerves and expect that not to happen. The poison from Botox will not be localized to the muscles in your face. It will spread throughout your body and add to toxic load. Also, it only works if you keep getting it done, which means that you are constantly injecting a known poison into your body. And the side effects only increase the more you get it done. So mild side effects are bruising, migraines, nausea, droopy eyelids, flu-like symptoms, pain, and drooling, and more. But the more severe side effects are central nervous system toxicity, speech disorder, brain inflammation. It is a known neurotoxin after all. Coma, affected vision, and even death. And it will also make your skin thinner and make your face look different and make you not be able to use the muscles in your face properly, which is not a good thing. I'd like to take a moment to remind you all that opium was used to treat teething in babies. Barbiturates were used to treat colic in babies. Mercury was used to treat syphilis. Lead was used in makeup. Deadly nightshade was used in eye drops. Still is in some. There are thousands of examples like this. Just because it's deemed as safe in the time that you're living doesn't mean that it is. We should have learned that by now. In 50 years from now, I can pretty much guarantee that young people then will be shocked that Botox was chosen willingly by women to make themselves look younger. So please take this into account before you inject poison into your face and instead maybe consider working with a coach to help you get to a point of acceptance that you are human. And part of being human means that we will age and that is okay. And also there are way safer and more effective ways to look after your skin and age gracefully. So for example, red light therapy, minimal toxin exposure, so that's us taking responsibility here, non-toxic skincare and sun care and ample amigas, correct absorption of trace minerals, ample vitamin D and ample vitamin A from food, and of course, optimized sleep. Please do your research and never make a decision like this on anything other than a place of informed choice. And that goes to listening to beauty editors speaking in magazines, talking about how, hey, they do Botox because let's normalize feeling okay. We're doing these things to help us look younger. Let's not normalize using a toxin, a poison, to help make us look like anything other than what we are.